Hi, my name's Patrick, I'm one of the doctors here. Before we begin, could I just confirm your name and date of birth, please? Yep, it's Lewis Gold, 27th of May, 1995. Uh, okay, Lewis, and uh, today I'd like to perform an examination of the nerves that supply your, your arms. Uh, that's going to involve me having to look at your arms, a feel, and then testing some of your uh, movements and reflexes. Does that sound okay? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so to begin, uh, I'm just going to perform a general inspection, uh, having a look at Lewis. Is he comfortable at rest? Has he got any walking aids with him? Uh, is he on any oxygen? Does he have any medications? Uh, none of which are applicable in this instance. I'm going to move on to having a more close inspection of the arms themselves. Uh, so we're going to have a look for any scars, any muscle wasting. Do you have any pain in your arms today, Liz? No. no. Okay, so I'm just going to move your arms a little bit if that's okay. So looking for any scars, uh, any obvious muscle wasting, uh, any obvious involuntary movements of the arms. I'm going to check for fasciculations. Um, so to do that, I'm just going to flick the muscle belly, so if that's okay, just gently. So uh, none are positive. Fine, that's fine, thank you. And uh, making sure to check the uh, axillary regions too. Uh, if you could pop your arms up in front of you like this, please. So ask Lewis to hold his hands like this for about 30 seconds to a minute to assess for any tremor. That's fine, thank you. Now I'm going to move on to test the tone in Lewis's arms. So to do this, uh, I'm just going to check each of the joints. So starting with the shoulder. So if you just relax, let me take your weight. So checking the tone at the shoulder, at the elbow and then at the wrist. And to do this, I'm gonna rotate Lewis's wrist a few times and then do once quickly in each direction to check for a spastic catch, which is not present. And I would then offer to do the same on the other side as well. Fine. Now I'm gonna move on to check to uh, sorry, uh, power. So to do this, I will check again at each of the three joints. Uh, so firstly, I'm gonna ask you to pop your arms up like this at your shoulders. So uh, push your hands, uh, your arms up against my hands and then down against me, making sure to check both sides at once. So that's shoulder abduction and adduction, both normal. I'm going to ask you to pop your arms out in front of you like this. So elbow uh, flexion, again, pull against me and now push against me. Flexion and extension at the elbow, normal. Thank you, Lewis. If you could put your arms out in front of you like this and testing one by one, making sure to stabilise the arm before you do this. If you can pull your wrist up against me and then down against me, thank you and same on this side and down great thank you so that's wrist flexion and extension normal i'm going to ask you to put your fingers out in front of you like this so i will check for finger extension so if you push up your fingers up against me and up against me and now you're going to check for abduction so stabilizing the rest of you push this pinky out against my finger great and then check the index finger cool thank you and same on this side and push the pinky out, thank you very much. So that's um, thing, the uh, fingers normal. And if you put your arms out in front of you with palms facing up and point your thumbs up to the sky, I'm gonna ask you to push your thumb out against me and out against me. So that's thumb abduction is normal. Thank you very much, Lewis. Now I'm gonna check for your reflexes. So at this point, I would like to use a tendon hammer. Unfortunately, I don't have one here today. So I'm going to use the end of my stethoscope, which is not ideal, but will work for this scenario. So. I'm going to take the weight of your arm, just relax the arm, I'm going to feel for the triceps tendon and uh, with the tendon hammer you want to strike just on uh, the fleshy part of the, the triceps tendon, so here, and you can see the contraction of Lewis's tricep there. Now if you rest your arm in against yourself, you're going to feel for the biceps tendon, and with my fingers going to strike and you can see the contraction in Lewis's bicep there. Now if you hold your arm out in front of you like that, and I'm gonna about two thirds of the way down the forearm, I'll point two fingers, strike and check for supination, uh, which uses the brachioradialis muscle. Thank you very much, Liz. Uh, next thing I'm gonna test is sensation. So for this, I'm gonna to wanna to test in a dermatomal fashion. Uh, so ideally with Liz's eyes closed. So Liz, if you can put your hands up in front of you with your palms facing up, that's perfect, thank you. Uh, so if you keep your eyes open for now, I'm gonna show you to assess light touch, you can either do it with cotton wool or with your finger. So first of all, do it on your sternum, that's what it feels like. Can you feel me doing that? Mm -hmm. Great, thank you. You can close your eyes. So I'm now going to test, firstly, at C5. Yep. Uh, can you feel me uh, touching you there? Yeah. And does it feel the same on both sides? Mm -hmm. Good. And so test at C5, C6 on the thumbs, yep. C7 on Good. his middle fingers, C8 on the inside of his hands, yep. and then T1, and does that all feel the same on both sides? That's great, you can relax, open your eyes. Next thing I'll check for is pinprick sensation, which you do using a sharp object in the same dermatomal fashion. So I'm gonna do it first on your sternum with your eyes open, 
That's what it feels like. Can you feel that? Yep. So now with your eyes closed, I will check it C5. And is that the same on both sides? Yep. Check it C6 on the thumbs again. Yep. Check C7. Yep. And C8. And finally T1. And is that the same on both sides? Yeah. Cool, that's grand. You can relax and open your eyes. I would offer to do <clears throat> the same thing in the same pattern using a uh, tuning fork to check for vibration sense. To check for proprioception, I will take your right hand, ask you to keep your eyes open for now. I'm going to stabilize your thumb uh, at the base and it's going to move at the interphalangeal joint. So this is me pointing it up and this is it pointing down. Uh, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and then tell me whether the final position of your thumb is up or down. So uh, is the thumb pointing up or down? Down. Okay. Up. Down. That's great, thank you. Uh, I could offer to do the same on the left hand. Uh, if Lewis got this wrong, I could then move proximally and check test at the wrist, the elbow and then at the shoulder. Uh, thank you Lewis, finally we're going to move on to coordination. So for the first uh, element of this, I'll ask you to take the index finger of your right hand, place it on your nose. Then touch it to the tip of my finger and go back to your nose and move between the two as quickly as you can. That's great, thank you. You can relax, assessing for any tension tremor which is not present. Uh, I would ask you then to do the same thing with your left hand. To assess for presence of dis diadocokinesis, I will ask you to pop your left hand out, palm facing up, palm facing down on your right hand, place it on top, flip the hand over and back across and just do that as quickly as you can. Thank you, so there's no dysthyrokinesis present. That's great, that's the end of my examination. Thank you very much, Lewis. Uh, you're free to put your jacket on, get ready to go. So uh, this is a normal examination of the <coughs> nerves of the upper limb. There are no positive findings. Uh, further examinations could, could include examination of the cranial nerves, the cerebellum, nerves of the lower limb, and some neuroimaging of the spine or the head if it was indicated. Thank you very much.